the U.S. is often labeled the world's largest debtor. But what does it actually owe? For example, assume the U.S. government bought a foreign car for $50,000. The government has the car. Any non-resident has a U.S. dollar bank account with $50,000 in it, mirroring the $50,000 his bank has in its account at the Fed that it received for the sale of the car. The non-resident now decides that instead of the non-interest-bearing demand deposit, he'd rather have a $50,000 treasury security, which he buys from the government. Bottom line, the U.S. government gets the car, and the non-resident holds the government security.